sketch the graph of x squared over 25 minus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. Now this is the equation of a hyperbola. So let's, whenever you're drawing hyperbola, we need to find the x-intercept, y-intercept, and the asymptotes first. So, uh, so let's first find the x-intercept. So x-intercept, you get the x-intercept when y is equal to 0. So the first thing is, let's find the x-intercept. Okay, so x-intercept is by setting y is equal to 0. So this is x squared over 25. This becomes 0 is equal to 1. So multiplying x uh, 25 to both sides, this implies x squared is equal to 25. Now this implies that x is equal to plus or minus 5. So x-intercept is plus or minus 5. Okay, so let's find the y-intercept. So let me change color. Your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So if you put x is equal to 0, so this will become 0. So minus y squared over 9 is equal to 1, which implies minus y squared is equal to plus 9, which implies y, is e y squared is equal to negative 9. Now, square of, if y squared is negative 9, you cannot find square root of negative, square root of negative 9 in real numbers, okay? So you can't say, you have say no real solution. You can say no real solution. Of course, you can find complex solution, but we are restricting ourselves in real numbers. So as this is a negative number, you can't find square root of a negative number in real number, so we say there are no real solution, which implies there are no y-intercept. This means graphically no y-intercept. Okay, so this is the x-intercept and y-intercept. Okay, so now the next is to find the asymptotes. The next is to find asymptotes. Now asymptotes is uh, a line, it can be a straight line, it can be vertical or horizontal, it can also be an oblique line. Okay, so asymptote is the value which the function is going to approach. Okay, so in other words, asymptote is the value when x is approaching positive or negative infinity. So let's first write this in terms of y. Okay, so let's write the equation. Equation is x squared over 25 minus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. So let's make y the subject. So to find asymptote, we are asking the question, what would y approach when x approaches positive or negative infinity? So let's make y the subject. So I can say y squared over 9. I hope you can see that is x squared over 25 x squared over 25 minus 1. Okay, so what I did is I moved this to this side and this to this side, but whichever way you understand. So y, if y squared is over 9 is x squared over 25 minus 1, which implies multiplying 9 to both the sides, you can say y squared is equal to 9 over 25 x squared minus 9. Okay. So now you have to ask the question, okay, so y is, you can say, plus or minus uh, square root of the whole thing, 9 over 25 x squared minus 9. Okay, so now you have to ask the question, when x approaches positive or negative infinity, it doesn't matter because it is x squared here. So when x approaches positive or negative infinity, what happens to y? Well, when x is approaching positive or negative infinity, this is going to be, u, this will going to be a huge number, okay? So the main player, when x approaches positive or negative infinity is this x squared. 
So this becomes almost insignificant. Minus 9 doesn't have any role, or you can say it's become insignificant. Okay, it doesn't matter or doesn't make any difference when x is approaching positive or negative infinity. I hope you understand mathematically. You can plug in a huge number of x and square it. So that will be infinitely large. Okay, And then if this is infinitely large, this is not going to matter. Okay, I hope you understand the maths there, which implies y, you can say, is a approximately or almost equal to its it does matter if you want to be exact but you can say y would be approaching you can say y you can say instead of y is equal to you can say y approaches which number square root of 9 over 25 x squared okay which implies y is almost going to be equal to 3 over 5 plus or minus 3 over 5x and that's your asymptote I'm going to plot this later on so this is your asymptote so you can say the equation of asymptote equation of asymptote is going to be y is equal to plus or minus 3 over, 3 over 5 x. Okay, so this is the main thing. So the x-intercept is plus or minus 5. There's no y-intercept. And the asymptote is plus or minus uh, 3 over 5 x. So the x-intercept is plus or minus phi. That means the x-intercepts are phi comma zero. So this is one x-intercept and this is the other x-intercept. The asymptotes are no y-intercept. The asymptotes are plus or minus three over phi x. That means this is rise of three and run of phi. So this is one line. So it will always pass through the, in this case, the standard vertex, so it's the hyperbola will pass, the asymptote will pass through the origin here. So uh, minus 3 over 5, that means this is run of minus 3 over 5. So let's draw the asymptote first. So the asymptote is a line. So let me draw a dotted line for asymptote. So this is asymptote. Generally, you draw a dotted line for asymptote. So let me draw a lot, huge line here. There's a reason. So let me drag this. So this is one asymptote, and this is the other asymptote. Okay. Now, so here, uh, this is your a. Uh, this is phi, and this is minus phi. Okay. So your hyper, your graph would look like this. This is the vertex, so this is x-intercept uh, is also called the vertex here. So the graph would go, uh, let me draw a rectangle so that you understand how to, the limits. So yeah, it's, uh, let me draw a rectangle, explain what I mean by this. Okay, and, uh, okay, so let me slightly drag this down. This has to pass through far here. Okay, and okay, that's fine. And yeah, that's fine. So I'll draw how to draw. Draw a rectangle. I want to explain something else. Okay, so this is a rectangle. Okay, so this is your A. Okay, now when you compare your standard equation, so this is this is phi. So let me go. This is phi. This is phi and this is 3. This is 3. This is 3, yeah. Okay. That means this would be square root of 25 plus 9. Okay. So this length using Pythagoras, this is square root of 25 plus 9, which is square root of 34. 
this is square root of 34 so this will also be square root of 34 and the square root of 34 is the uh, uh, focal length okay this is square root of 34 and then you can draw a circle so let me use a compass okay I'll have to drag this down uh, let me cut it cut and paste it here okay so let me paste it here paste so this is my compass electronic compass so let me draw a circle so I want to draw a circle okay that's fine and I'll draw a circle now this is a circle okay perfect I want to delete it now so this is a circle and this is if this is root 34 this is 25 plus 9 is root 34 so this from the length from year to year is also root 34 so this length is also root 34 this is root 34 and that's your focal length okay so this is also root, negative root 34 this is minus root 34 so and then you have to draw the hyperbola the hyperbola would be would be passing through this vertex so it will be and will be approaching this line which is asymptote so it will pass through the vertex and will be approaching that asymptote and this is the other branch that so will be approaching this line and that's why it's called an asymptote here so this is one branch and same way you don't do the other branch from here the function is approaching this asymptote okay so here you can say your focal length so focal length focal length is always this squared plus this squared which is square root of 25 plus 9 which is square root of 34 so let's confirm this square root of 34 on a calculator so let me square root of 34 uh, shift square root of 34 equals 5.8 in 1 dp so your focal length your f let me call that f is uh, plus or minus uh, 5.8 okay so let's check this on a calculator if you have a graphic calculator and if you go to conics uh, so let me go to let me drag this up so that I can see the equation okay so go to conics go to conics and go to hyperbola hyper this is circle so this is hyperbola so yeah your h your a is phi your b is 3 h and k are 0 and then you draw it oh so this was sorry so this is ellipse i want to go to hyperbola so sorry so this is then draw it so this is your so let's check so the focus is 5.8 and if you press this minus 5.8 that's the first thing and x intercept is phi and phi and negative phi y intercept y intercept not found okay and just all your vertex your vertex are these are the x intercept and vertex are one and the same okay and your yeah, asymptote so these are the asymptotes do you have anything more of course you have your eccentricity which is your center is of course zero zero i didn't talk about center the center is zero zero and finally eccentricity is c over a so let me show you that g sol e is 1.17 okay so let me explain that the eccentricity e is eccentricity which is c over a which is c over a which is square root of 34 over your a a is the denominator of uh, 
uh, a is phi here. Okay, so this is your a and this is your a is phi and your b is 3. And your c, which is your focal length is square root of 34. So square root of 35, square root of 34 divided by phi. So let's use a calculator. This is 1.17. So shift square root of 34 divided by phi, which is 1.16, or this is your eccentricity.